so today i'm going to show you guys a phone uh, which you can really rely on and if you're looking for a phone under 50000 rupees you should definitely consider this phone now uh, here is the thing you know uh, if i ask you suggest me a phone which is best phone in any category or maybe in any specific category so there is no perfect phone there are specific criteria for each smartphone which makes a phone great for example some phones are great in the camera some are more durable some are best in the performance you know blah blah there are so many categories which decides you know which phone is perfect few phones offer many things so that a smartphone is perfect so you know few phones which are launched long back ago say 5 to 6 month maybe 7 months before on a high higher price tag now they are available on a very good price deals and discount and if you compare those phone against some of the popular recently launched phone they definitely offer a good value for money now how do i come to know like which phone is more popular which is launched many months before i'm going to show you guys my quick comment section on the youtube channel so this is the recent comments that i'm going to show you here so the last comment that came 14 hours before uh, is of the honor play you can see the title here and you can see the thumbnail it is honor play then we go down poco phone f1 then galaxy a30 a50 and uh, then poco phone f1 then few comments for the honor play oneplus 60 honor 9 and you can check out and see you know huawei y9 there are so many phones which are launched 6 to 7 before and still i am getting comments so that's why people are still searching for them looking for them you know about that phone so these are durability test videos so i'm just going to show you okay so this phone i purchased on 8th of august 2018 almost 6 to 7 month before and on 20000 rupees now this phone is available on just 14000 that's why i said few phones are really great so so i'm just going to share you my thoughts about this honor play because in last least 6 to 7 month i have compared this phone uh, with more than 20 plus budget smartphones and a 20k and still i am considering this phone whenever i am you know doing any new phone for example the note 7 i am working on recently so i compared the honor play and i found out like this phone is still great so let's start and discuss everything you know what are special thing still on the honor play so first we are going to talk about the design and the durability this phone is really slim and compared to today's phone standard i'm just taking few of them for example the note 7 pro this phone uh, feels to me solid but it is a glass phone i know that galaxy m30 polycarbonate so there is something different here this phone is completely uh, made out of the you know you can see the complete metal slightly smaller camera bump buttons are uh, you know polycarbonate but still this phone feels great it's not too big it is small that's fine so honor play is still uh, is a decent looking phone great solid phone we tested that it's really solid durable phone complete metal phone so no problem holding me that this phone feels to me pocketable okay now how about the display of this phone this phone comes with a full hd plus display like all the budget phones you cannot get quad hd or 2k display or 4k display on this segment so again uh, technology has changed you are getting phones on the same price segment which are having the amoled display but you know this is samsung high cost repair this is still the ips lcd it looks great it has a traditional notch compared to different notch that we are getting right now but you can either hide the notch or whatever if you are having no problem with such kind of notch so this should be okay for you so display is good for me has a good brightness so i don't have any problem uh, with the display i mean it's not the best compared to amoleds you know but still i don't find it much con so this is okay now you must be uh, worrying more about the performance of this phone so this phone uh, is having the green 970 processor which is based on the 10 nanometer structure you know the same 10 nanometer which is being used on the qualcomm snapdragon 845 not the latest on 855 and if you take most of the budget phones you know under 15k so they will be either on the 12 nanometer like the helio p70 kirin 710 or any of the qualcomm one like the uh, you know snapdragon 66066 the latest 675 is based on the uh, 11 nanometer so this is still superior there are few phones which are going to come with the snapdragon you know 710 uh, you know which is again 10 nanometer but that phone those phones will be above 15k so i'm not discussing those phone here so i have compared this phone with most of the smartphones on this price segment and i never got disappointed this phone feels great dedicated gaming uh, gpu turbo 2.0 and one thing i want to show you uh, on the pubg gaming setting if you go to the pubg mobile here this one is the pubg and uh, on the settings of the graphics 
as you can see you can still play this game on the hdr setting ultra hd is not here coming soon and on the uh, ultra setting this phone can play up to in the hd and the high setting i'm not sure about the ultra but but this can play in, in the hd only so if you are a hardcore gamer this phone is a gaming phone you know gaming turbo 2.0 3.0 is there for the p30s and high cost devices so now how about the camera of this phone honestly i will say this is not the best camera phone but if i have to pick three phone including all the possible features like the photos and videos i will still include honor play uh, you know under top three i'll tell you why this phone takes nice photo it has all the latest feature like the ai camera especially the night mode in fact i tested this phone with again some top uh, six phone recently uh, this phone takes great photo on the night mode so note 7 pro was the first on the low light this phone was second in showing the details especially in the night mode so with night mode you can really take nice photos you can take decent photos with the aperture mode you can take portrait of the non-human faces everything you can do with this phone selfies are great if you just turn on the ai you can get some cartoonish photo in the, you know overexposed things but you know you have that feature so those are for the photos for the video side this phone supports the 4k video there are very few phones which support the 4k videos for example realme 2 pro genfone max m2 redmi note 7 pro uh, supports 4k this phone also supports 4k you know but there's also stabilization on 1080p 30 frame per second also you can film in 1080p 60 frame per second so everything as a complete package is a good for the camera wise it is, this is not the best like i said now before we conclude i just want to show you guys quick software and phone option too this phone is running the latest emui and uh, it is uh, currently android pi based and about phone section you can see this phone is still running on the february one security patch and there is a system update available which should bring this phone to the apple security patch this is not the android one which are also not guaranteed to get monthly security update so this is okay it is running the late, latest software version and there are some cool features which i really like for example on the battery this is the performance mode this is power sync mode ultra power sync mode using those you can really get you know a lot of good juice uh, i never saw like any huge bug there are some few minor bugs but those are fixed very quickly so with software wise i see this phone is okay provided if you don't mind with the software complexity this phone was launched with the oreo now it is on pi and i hope this phone should get and wide queue because this is a slightly better device compared to other honor devices now lastly we should also include the battery section too this phone is having 3750 milliamps battery comparing the today's standard we are seeing 5000 4000 which is pretty common but look at this phone is coming with a usb type c and on top of that this phone comes with the 18 watt fast charger into the box so do check the charging test i have shown over this phone i don't remember exact stats but this phone really charges super quick there are a few other phones too which do support good charging for example note 7 pro it supports 18 watt charging but in the box it comes with a 10 watt charging galaxy series like a series m series they also come with 15 watt in the box and the maximum support so technically this is highest you're getting on this price segment 3750 is not the best but in my usage i never saw like this phone got discharged in a single day sometimes i use it for heavy testing gaming performing test it just completed whole day so on the final summary on the 14k what are things you are getting a solid durable phone a decent camera one of the best performance one of the best battery charging technologies 18 watt type c good display and competitive price 14000 is the average price where most of the phone come with a 4 gb ram model which are you know up to the same standard there is 6 gb ram variant also so anyway guys uh, with my recommendation this phone is still is a good buy based on your country the price may vary but here in india this phone is an excellent value for money if you're looking to buy a phone and you're not able to get it so don't regret buy on a play this is still a decent choice Anyway guys, uh, that's been it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Saurabh. Talk to you very soon. Have a great day.